So, um, just to clarify one thing before starting this question, when an object is moving at a constant speed, what does this mean? It means that the speed doesn't change, it's always the same. So if I take these snapshots, every one snapshot every second, I will see that in the first snapshot, the object has a speed of 5 meters per second, then 5 meters per second, 5 meters per second, and so on. So the speed doesn't change, always is kept the same, therefore we say that it's moving at a constant speed. So when we're dealing with constant speed, so what can we say as the formula to use? We say that speed equals distance over time. Yeah. So this is the first case, case A. Now, we have, we have some cases where the, the object is keep changing the way it moves. So, and in reality, if I leave from my work to go to my house, at the beginning I will just accelerate with my car, then I will move at constant speed for a bit, then I will be heading towards the, the red light, so I'm going to decelerate and stop. I'm going to stay stationary for a bit, then I'm going to accelerate again on the green light. So until I reach home, I'm going to do a lot of different types of motion. Sometimes acceleration, sometimes constant speed, sometimes deceleration, sometimes I'm going to be stationary for a bit, right? Now, if I want to find my average speed, so the average speed of the whole journey, then I'm doing a similar formula, but I'm saying that I do the total distance over the total time of the journey. Yeah, you see these two formulas are, they look exactly the same, but they are referring into different cases. The first case is when I'm doing constant speed. The second case is when I keep changing the way I move. Yeah, so sometimes instead of total distance over total time, we might find it as the, the distance move, like the example that we're going to do now, which is going to be the total distance move, right? Over the total time taken for that move. Yep. Now, if we go to the question, this is what it is. The graph shows how the distance traveled by an aeroplane changes during part of the journey. State the formula linking average speed, distance moved, and time taken. So this is exactly what we have said now. So I have to write average speed equal distance taken. over time taken. So avoid avoid using symbols in these kind of questions because if by accident you do a wrong symbol then you're going to miss a point. So my suggestion is to use exactly the words that are given here. Then we need to calculate the average speed. Um, we're going to use the graph to do that. So distance taken, it's a distance time graph, so we can read the values for distance directly from, from the graph. We can see though that the trick part in this question is that it starts from 300, so the part of the journey that is represented by that graph, it's something that starts at 300 kilometers, and by the end of this journey it reaches at 700. So how much distance that plane has covered from 300 to 700, therefore the distance is 400 kilometers. So average speed it's going to be the distance taken which is 400 kilometers and the time it took for this journey is from 30 minutes to 60 minutes, so it's 30 minutes. Alright, now if I'm going to use kilometers and minutes, then when I do my calculation, and the answer for that will be 13.3, I'm going to use the units 
of the values I have used. So therefore that will be kilometers per minute. So another student might have done something different, might have converted the kilometers to meters. So in that case it will have been 400 kilometers times 1000 to convert to meters. And then to convert minutes into seconds, that will be 30 times 60. So in that case, we, if you do the calculation, we'll get 0 0.22. But since we have used meters for the distance and seconds for the time, then our answer should be meter per second. Another student might have kept kilometers, which is 400, and then converted minutes into hours because kilometers per hour is a common um, way of measuring speed. So there for 30 minutes, it's half an hour, 0 0.5 hours. So in that case, we're talking about an answer of 800, but it is kilometers over hours. Therefore, it will be kilometer per hour. So any of these answers will have been correct because it doesn't specify um, any any unit. All right, it's asking you to just give the switchable unit. So depending on what you're going to use, you're going to get the equivalent unit.